Well, Minda, I wanted to start off by asking you about one of your tweets that you oh, made no. recently. <laughs> Don't <laughs> did worry. I, some <laughs> random stuff I tweeted. Well, actually, about. it was a retweet. I messaged my one of your co-stars, from Alcatraz, Sam Neill. Right. And in it, he said that acting is a really funny job because yes. every time you do it, it feels like starting again from the very beginning. Yes. And I wondered what your experience was with that and what it had been like with 28K in particular. You know what? He, uh, which is why I retweeted it because it's rang so true to me that every time you start a new project you're like oh my god you, you say yes and then you're like uh they're gonna find me out it's like i can't do this it's like they've got the wrong person and i i don't know why that is but it just it is like starting all over again and you just you know I, he described it best of all so uh, i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> embellish too much but it but it, yeah it, it does feel like that and i'm not, not quite sure why how about with 28K? Did that feel like that as well? You know, yeah, because you're creating a brand new character and it's, you know, and also because of the amount of work that, that it consisted of, because I'm literally in nearly almost all of it, you know, just to, to pace it correctly and making sure that you're creating a very rounded character, um, you know, that has all these facets to them. You know, they're strong, they're vulnerable, and, you know, they can be scared, they can be, you know, obnoxious, whatever. It's like, you know, making sure it's a fully rounded piece that you're not playing the same thing. And uh, it's, you know, it, it's a challenge. And um, I hope we achieved that. Tell me a little bit about your character, Diva, and what attracted you to her. What I loved about Diva was that it just such a strong female lead, which I feel like you don't really see very much of. And um, especially in a gangster movie, you know, normally you'd see a guy in this role. and and. I just love the challenge of playing someone like that and um, you know she's a, she's obviously got her own demons to fight with you know you sort of pick up um, you know where she's working in Paris as a buyer and then you see her come back to the East End and, and she knows the people that she meets and when she comes back. And he's mentioned there that she is in Paris at the very start of yes. she's working there isn't she? she's a fashion executive and she comes back to London which is where most of the film takes place. Right. So she's got that kind of difficulty with kind of settling back in, I guess, but seeing people she knows, yeah. um, kind of being in the same place again where she's not been for a while. Although so. I almost don't think she has difficulty settling back in. I think her clothes sort of make it look like she has difficulty <laughs> settling back in, you know. I think, you know, it's like, it's a, I said this before, it was like you, you can take the girl out of the East End, but you can't take the East End out of the girl. It's like she really just gets on with it and she goes to the places that she knows that will help her, um, you know, in the situation with her brother. and. Um, you know, she knows that world only too well, which is why she left. And I think she's she's fine with coming back to it, but she doesn't want to be there for long because she knows what it's about. I mean, how did you find yourself? Because obviously you've lived and worked in LA for a while, haven't yeah. you? Coming back to London to right. film this. Um, I, you know what, I just, it didn't, it was a different part of London for me to experience, to be honest with you. Like, which is what I love about London so much is that you can go anywhere in London and it's so different in so many different places. Even if you just turn a corner, you know, it's like suddenly a different place. But, you know, I lived in South London for a long time, completely different to North London. And now here I, you know, I'm back in the East End. I mean, I, one of my first jobs was in the East End. And now going back to the East End, it's changed so much also because of the Olympics. Um, it was just nice to experience that different side. And, and I lived somewhere else as well, which was another experience of London. I, I loved it. And is that backdrop to the Olympics in the film as well, isn't there? Yes. What's your kind of feeling about London 2012? I, you know, I'm a huge supporter of it. I just think, you know, anything that can make a nation feel a little bit better about themselves, especially, you know, globally, you know, how things are going right now. I just think it, it's great. I, and I love sports. So um, I love watching them. I love seeing the athletes compete. And, and it truly is about how good they are as opposed to who they know. That's why I love it so much. It's like they really win by their own merit. So um, I, I'm excited. I mean, I, I, I ran with the Olympic torch. I think it was last year, two years ago, something like that. It was amazing, absolutely amazing, the buzz around the town. And even driving around now, the buzz is just amazing. What did it feel like when you were asked to do that? I was, I was like, really, you want me to say? I was like, wow. Um, but to you know, run across the Millennium Bridge towards St. Paul's Cathedral with like all these people out, like cheering you on, with the, it was it was just amazing. 
I was very honoured, very, very honoured. And of course this is a British film as well, isn't it, talking about Britishness and being yeah. proud. How important is it for you to star in a British film? It's so hard to make films, I feel like, um, in England as it is right now. So it's, it's very important and it's sort of, you know, it's who I am and it's I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to do that whenever I can and as often as possible. And um, I'm just always glad when I get the opportunity to do it. And what's next for you? I'm just uh, plugging away. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I just finished Alcatraz actually not so long ago. It wasn't that long ago at all. And I actually just did a, a, a comedy series in the US Psych? called Psych. Yeah. yeah. To play Dulé's um, new girlfriend. So I've been having a lot of fun doing that. It's nice to go on set and just laugh a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of crying and a lot of other stuff. So it was good just to, that was the primary focus. It was sad to see, you mentioned Alcatraz there, obviously coming mm -hmm. to an end, but where would you have liked to have seen it go if it had continued? I just, you know, I think like everybody, like, you know, our audience and the actors alike, we just wanted some sort of closure and it would have been nice to have had another 13 episodes to explain a little bit about, you know, where it was going because it was just becoming interesting and um, I'm sad it got the plug pulled on it. Yeah, and it was interesting recently, you again, going back to your tweets, you tweeted that you know, you're asking people, um, where would you like, if you brought ER back, right. what would you like to see happen? <laughs> I and was hoping somebody from NBC <laughs> might see it, but and I think everybody thought I knew something that they didn't. Uh, you know what, I would do that show in a heartbeat again, and with those people, I, I just absolutely loved it, and I, I'd go back and do Neela in a shot. What um, would you like to see happen to her next, if it was you making the decision? I don't know. I'm not as clever as those writers, which is why I want to go back and do it, because those writers were amazing.